Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And today a massive update was pushed to the Checkrain iOS 13 jailbreak utility. We're going to be talking about that, all of the changes it features. I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 13.2.3 natively toward the end of this video. Of course, also how to update your version of Checkrain to the latest one, 0.9.6, and also touching on Windows support for those of you who are still waiting, because believe it or not, in the change log for this latest version, it actually hints at a potential upcoming release time frame for both Windows and Linux. There is a lot to talk about here today and down below in the description, as well as the pinned comment, you'll find timestamps to specific parts of this video that may in fact interest you so you can skip ahead to those segments. So let's get into this. Coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win. All right, so to start off, I'm just going to rip the Band-Aid off for Windows users first. It looks like Linux support is going to be prioritized. It's going to be pushed out first, and then Windows will come in a subsequent update. Windows support is still coming. I know we talked about this in a recent video, which I will have linked in your cards right now, talking about how the developers are creating both the Linux and the Windows versions in parallel with one another, but it doesn't look like they're going to release in parallel. It looks like they're going to push out Linux first, then Windows, because Windows is just that much more complicated. Now, if you are on Windows and you're really holding out for that official native Windows support, then definitely check out our jailbreak status checker page for Windows. It will be linked in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. It will let you know the very second a Windows tool is available. All right, so let's talk about this. Checkrain 0.9.6 was released today, and it brings a number of welcomed improvements, bug fixes, and even additional device support. So you'll notice here that for the changelog, which by the way, this will be linked down below in the description, and I'm also going to tell you guys exactly how you can update your version of Checkrain to 0.9.6 if you're already jailbroken toward the end of this video, but in your cards right now, if you don't wanna wait, there is a tutorial that I created earlier that tells you how to actually update to new versions of Checkrain when they're released. So you can check that out right now as well. So in 0.9.6 for the bug fixes, quote, fixes support for iPad 6 generation, fixes an issue where A7 devices would report an error code on success, fixes an issue where jailbreak app icons would show up on the boot after using loaders, quote, restore system functionality. So this means that when you unjailbreak, you no longer have to go through the extra complicated steps and you also no longer need a computer so long as you just are in your already jailbroken state. Stay tuned for an updated guide on that. And then quote, makes the loader app more resilient to errors occurring after long uptime, fixes an issue where loader and Cydia would fail with a no internet connection message on Chinese iPhones, fixes an issue where the iPad Pro smart keyboard would disconnect, fixes an issue where fast charging did not work, and then for other changes, quote, add support for jailbreaking Apple TVs from within the same app. Previously, it was actually different and you couldn't have both in your applications folder simultaneously unless you renamed one. Now this just streamlines and simplifies that process by integrating Apple TV fourth gen support straight into the Checkrain jailbreak utility. The steps for that are still exactly the same. My jailbreak tutorial for the Apple TV will also of course be linked below. And then quote, added support for iPad fifth generation, iPad Air second generation, and the iPad Pro first generation, added support for iOS 13.2.3. So this was already possible with Checkrain, just utilizing command line inside of terminal. However, now it is official and Checkrain will in fact recognize the device on iOS 13.2.3, as you guys are about to see in just a second. Next quote, re-engineered the command line interface from the ground up, dramatically improved loader's speed, restructured loader D and friends into separate launch daemons to survive user land reboot and removed insult from daemon name. So that's a little complicated there, but that's just some things that are going on behind the scene with some of the launch daemons, which are processes that start up with the device. And then quote, export kernel base and other useful things for developers. They also also say that if you are experiencing the minus 20 issue, please re-jailbreak with no substrate mode option checked 
in the app, which is actually inside of CheckRain, and see if removing tweaks resolves your issue. So it could be a problem with incompatible tweaks that you actually have installed on your device. Next, for the unsupported devices, of course, they still say the following are experimental and require more attempts than usual. iPhone 5S, iPad mini 2, iPad mini 3, iPad Air, the original one, so pre-iOS 13 devices, and they say that reliability on these devices will be added in future releases. And here's what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. For unsupported platforms, it reiterates that this beta is only available for Mac OS at the present that work is ongoing to support Linux and they say in parentheses ETA Sun which is essentially just a meme at this point saying that it's coming soon and Windows which will be added in a later release. So we know that Linux is going to come before Windows. Windows is going to come in a subsequent release as they literally say right here. So I'm going to keep you guys updated and I'll let you know exactly when both the Linux and the Windows versions are out. The good news is that if you are on Windows, you can actually use the official Linux version without having to do any of the previously required complicated steps to install a Mac OS VM. And then of course, remap your USB controller over IOMMU. And they also say here something pretty interesting too under package managers. Quote, at the moment, CheckRain only supports installing Cydia. Support for other package managers is coming soon and will not require a CheckRain update. That's just insane. That means that they're going to be able to push those things server side, it sounds like, because of course, when you open up CheckRain and you don't have an active internet connection, it lets you know to reopen CheckRain when you are in fact connected to the internet. So that leads me to believe that they're going to be able to push these updates remotely and allow you to actually install other package managers via CheckRain, that CheckRain loader application. So long as you're inside of your device's jailbroken state, you'll be able to do that. So we'll just have to wait and see which ones come first, but my money's on Zebra. So that's basically it for the changes. Now, if you wanna know how to both jailbreak iOS 13.2.3 and also update CheckRain regardless of which version of iOS you're on, the steps for both are exactly the same and I actually created two separate videos on both of those topics, but basically this is how you're going to do it. So you wanna download the latest version, right? And once that latest version is in fact downloaded, you're just going to mount the disk image or .dmg file, and it's going to pop up inside of a finder window like this. Drag it over into your applications folder. If you already have a previous version of CheckRain, it will say something like this. An older item named CheckRain already exists in this location. Do you wanna replace it with the newer one you're moving? Of course, hit replace. And then you need to open up CheckRain from directly within inside the applications folder itself. And uh, you will receive a message like this. It will say that CheckRain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. That's completely fine. That's just a default system message that Apple puts in place when downloading anything from the internet. It's actually not malicious in any way, shape, or form. So you can click cancel to that. And then you need to open up your system preferences application. And you need to go to secure and privacy inside of system preferences. And you need to go to general and then click on open anyway, where it says check rain was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Click open anyway, and then click on open to the prompt once it pops up. And then you're going to need to launch check rain one more time from directly with inside the applications folder. And voila, there you go, you have check rain. And it has detected that my iPhone is in fact connected. However, I'm going to have to disconnect my iPhone and connect it directly to USB because it's currently plugged into a dock right now. So let's go ahead and connect this guy. And we're going to click on start next. It's going to send the device into recovery mode and we're just going to have to enter DFU mode. Um, after it does put us into recovery mode. So like I said, what we're doing now is we're basically just updating CheckRain to the latest version. So that way, hopefully we can eliminate some of these errors and also improve the reliability of the loader application as well. So of course, if you guys need a refresher now, 
inside of check rein for the new DFU mode, really all you have to do is hit start and then hold down the side and volume down buttons together for basically four seconds, then release the side button, continue holding volume down. Of course, you can bypass this entirely by entering DFU mode on your own, but I always find it good to just follow along with the steps. So now we can release and continue holding. Okay, so it actually has detected and you can see here inside of check rein, it's moving through the process. We have the scrolling text screen on check rein confirmed that it is the latest beta 0.9.6 up there in the top. Might be kind of hard to see that 0.9.6 um, and it's just going through the boot up process now. Let's go ahead and wipe up. We can, of course, unplug it as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's literally all you have to do. The only thing that I want you guys to do on top of that is, of course, just to open up Cydia and install any and all available updates from directly within inside Cydia itself. So if there are any changes listed there, you guys need to do a complete upgrade. So you'll see this pop up here. It says there's an essential upgrade, but there are also additional packages. So I want you guys to do a complete upgrade. Um, and once you do that, you're going to be fully updated with your jailbreak. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's everything that's changed with CheckRain version 0.9.6, how to update it, whether Windows is coming, which by the way it is, when it's actually coming, general time frame for that. Of course, no specific ETAs just because they're not given because, you know, of course, complications can pop up as we learned with the very first check rain release itself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys fully in the loop on anything and everything related to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.